हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल नॉलेज अनलिमिटेड एंड वेलकम टू द फिफ्थ ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ माई प्ले लिस्ट स्टैटिक टाइमिंग एनालिसिस एंड लाइक वी डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग एंड बिफोर गोइंग टू द स्क्यू एनालिसिस एंड सम मोर एग्जाम्पल क्वेश्चन आई फेल्ट लाइक इट्स अप्रोप्रिएट टू कवर द होल टाइम एनालिसिस एंड देन सो एवरी एग्जाम्पल वी कैन डू बोथ सेटअप एंड होल्ड एनालिसिस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर वॉट इज होल्ड एनालिसिस और वॉट इज द मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन दैट होल्ड टाइम मीन्स and i will also explain the visualization of whole time we will go internal to the flip flop and see the how whole time is coming into picture so without wasting time let's get into it okay so these two i'll cover today so if you see here i have attached a, a snippet to save the time okay so before going to that the definition of whole time is the amount of time the data should remain stable for the capture flop to process it correctly so this is the definition of whole time let us understand what does that actually mean so if you see here this is our launch flop and this is our capture flop which means the data will be given out from the flip flop one and it is been captured at the flip flop two so we call it as launch and capture flops so if i take a clocks one clock cycle or a clock pulse and drawing here and let's say a similar clock pulse let's say there are no skew or no delays then this is clock at flip flop 1 this is the clock source which is going to flip flop 1 and flip flop 2 let's say this delay is 0 and this is the clock at flip flop 2 so why the whole time is measured at the same positive edge of the cycle is what you need to understand unlike the setup time where we have seen a clock edge at this and the clock edge at this for flip flop 2 and we have derived the setup time between this window okay but for the hold analysis why it is at the same edge means let's say at this edge a data been sent from flip flop 1 to flip flop 2 and it is expected to reach flip flop 2 at this point but there might be a case where the delay here is very less delay is much 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 than a minimum very minimum value so that at this edge the data that is coming at flip flop 1 reaches immediately to flip flop 2 okay this data is also reaching and the previous cycle data is also being ready to capture at flip flop 2 then at the capture flip flop it can't process or understand which data to proceed or which data to send through it or latch through it okay so there is a possibility of the violation at the flip flop 2 to take which data among these two so it is essential that there is some time a flop should hold the data before sending okay so let's say it is the launch flip flop it should hold some time hold for some time if it holds for some time then the previous data will be happily processed by the flip flop 2 and then the new data can come come back to here so at this edge it, it need to hold for some time right let's say some time th so this time which it need to hold is called as the hold time so if you read the definition now again you will understand it clearly the amount of time the data should remain stable for the capture flop to process it correctly it remains stable at the launch flop okay from the launch flop path also we can say so this is the definition of hold time so before deriving the mathematical equation of the hold time let us see um how this whole time is coming into picture so let us go back to the diagram where we have done the similar analysis for the setup time okay in the setup time if you see we have said that this time is called as t setup time so the data should be available at this point so it should come little early before the clock edge so that it will be processed correctly so we have seen that in the setup time if you are not familiar about it please watch our earlier tutorials where we have explained these in detail so coming to the whole time now what will happen is let's say there is some data which is available here previous data which is expected to go out of it for latch i am explaining which is similar to the flip flop also i mean if you have a another similar logic here that's a flop so ignore that so here if you understand it's very much clear okay so there is some data earlier which need to go out from here but let's say this transmission gate is not turned off immediately right because here it is clock here it is clock bar means there is a chance of some inverter or some combo logic 
which will take some time some delay will be there so that this transmission gate won't be off immediately it will take some time to turn it off what if by that time a new data or the next data passes through this so then at this point there is a violation that which data to be transferred in this way so the time taken by this transmission gate to turn off is called as hold time so this time is what the time you need to hold the data here stable okay this th is the time to turn off the transmission gate and since it's clock path it need not to be necessarily one inverter like i uh, have drawn okay from the clock to get the clock bar there is a chance that they might have three inverters also whatever it is so this entire logic will have some delay and that we called as hold time the time taken to turn this transmission gate off so i hope you guys got some clarity of how this hold time is being interpreted or coming into picture so let's derive the mathematical equation here itself so that it it would be very relevant for us so if you see here the data will take t clock to q delay plus any combo logic t comp delay to reach from here to here right this is the delay now your how much time the flip flop 2 should hold uh, sorry flip flop 1 should hold the data before sending means this is the pro, uh, data path delay right t clock to q plus t combo logic so if it holds more than this or what we call how much time it should hold means sorry for that it should hold more than this time then it it won't cause any violation because anyway data is taking minimum this much time t clock to q plus t combo if you hold more than more than this time then it will be pretty much sufficient so your hold time should be always less than the clock to q plus combo means the combo or the data logic path delay should be always greater than some value that value should be um, your hold okay so that minimum value which this can hold should be your hold time but hold time is fixed right so all you can do control is in this path only means clock to q delay you can't do anything this is also fixed okay so all you can do is to increase this combo logic to increase this combo logic delay to meet the hold requirement but does that affect setup time yes it will affect but here the scenario is different you are increasing so little so that you won't break the hold violation so in the next video we will do the see skew analysis we haven't done why because during the skew analysis we can do both for setup and hold time together so that we will be covering in the next tutorial and we will be also discussing one important interview question that hold time or setup time which is critical to fix in a design so hope you guys learned something new in this video see you in the next tutorial